In today's video, I will be searching for Yu-Gi-Oh's most expensive new cards. What's up guys, we're back with another video, opening packs for expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We did this about a month ago and our pulls were absolutely ridiculous. So I decided why not try this again, but do it in a little bit of a different way. I have not just three sets like last time. I have three boxes here, which are Age of Overlord, Photon Hypernova and Battles of Chaos. And we'll be pitting them against three other boxes, Rarity Collection, Battles of Legend, Monsters Revenge and Maze of Millennia. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a two video series while I'll be opening three boxes today, three boxes tomorrow. We're gonna do a little value counter to see which can pull better. These all have expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards inside, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but I'm excited to find out. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these Blue Eyes White Dragon cards. This is a laminated Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, by the way. Yeah, I, I don't remember where I got this, some sort of collection or something, but you guys can win this. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below who will win. Will it be the side sets with Rarity Collection involved, Maze of Millennia, the new Bonfire set, or will it be the core sets with some really high-end staple cards slash meta cards? All right, so in today's video, we're gonna start with the side sets because I think these have a higher floor. So we're probably gonna take a lead here and then tomorrow we'll have to find out if they can actually come back by pulling some crazy cards like SB Little Knight and stuff like that. But if we do pull like Ash Blossom or if we pull IP Mascarena or if we pull Bonfire CR, it's gonna be really hard to beat. All right, I'm gonna open these boxes up, get the packs out, and we'll get to a 72 pack opening. So sit back, relax, enjoy your popcorn. All right, I've got all the packs out. Let's get to it. We have 72 packs to open today. There will be a counter on the screen for our total value pulled in this video. Then tomorrow, you'll know what we need to beat. So come check out the video tomorrow as well. I think it's going to be fun. I think there's both. Oh, an effect veiler! First pack magic! Okay! QCR effect veiler. All right, I don't know the exact price on this, but I expect it's pretty expensive because the starlight of this card used to be an $800 card and uh, not so much anymore thanks to that QCR, but that means that QCR is probably at least like a $50, $40 card. I think Ghost Bell was $40, $50, so it's got to be around there, I would think. It does depend on like the meta playability at the moment, but that's a good card. That's a really good start, so... Right off the bat, we pulled amazing. I don't know. Is it two from the back on this one or not? I can't remember. We have Sage. Okay, so it is two from the back. Potential to pull the IP Mascarena or Zeus QCR in this set. Overall, Monsters Revenge is a little bit iffy in terms of like a overall set, but we're looking for expensive cards, not necessarily well-rounded sets here. We're just kind of going with what we got. Okay, we got to do two from the back here. Speaking of high-end cards, not necessarily well-rounded sets, we have Maze of Millennia. There's a Ruxin special. Right to the super, nothing too crazy there. Wow, that was a great start for Rarity Collection. Okay, Rarity Collection off to a hot start. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing it like this. Dark Ruler No More, it's a good card. We have Red Eyes Flare Metal, Junk Speeder, and Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Always good cards out of Rarity Collection. Doesn't matter really where you get them. And we got Rarity Collection 2 coming out, so should be pretty fun. We're gonna complete a binder hopefully live again. That was super fun last time. Oh, it is two from the back here, isn't it? We have the additional Bistro Ball Drake. I have an error card of this where it's like super off center. We have Sage, Sprite Carrot, and the Noah Punk Yoga Dance. All right, Maze of Millennia. Let's pull some. I mean, we've already pulled something big. I mean, normally I'm like, let's pull something big. We have already done it. We started off the first pack. Whenever we do these kind of openings, I just seem to pull good cards. Like we did that, you know, go check out the other one if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, when we opened expensive Yu-Gi-Oh packs about a month ago, it was ridiculous. The pulls were insane. So if we get anywhere close to those, we're going to be happy this time. Ash Blossom, that's pretty good. It's already a couple bucks right there. Herald of the Arc Light or yeah, Arc Light. A, is that a, no, it's not a platinum. Okay, Fairy Tale and Shadal Schism. A couple nice cards there. Ash Blossom, I think is still a couple bucks. So not bad. That'll add to our tally. That's what we want to see. That's the nice part about rarity is it's going to have a lot of value you in it even if you don't pull a high-end card which we already have don't pull well you'll pull a high-end card but a good high-end card okay we got something here for maze sun god unification and <laughs> this thing man i pulled this thing a million times i don't even know if it's a dollar it's probably not great but i've pulled that card so many times monster's revenge i mean it's taken forever to get my cases well, we're at the time of recording this we haven't even opened my cases yet that'll be tomorrow so yeah i i hopefully tomorrow we don't pull so many of those sprites bashers you'll know by then if we did uh, Dark Hole Secret Rare, so nothing too exciting in that one. That's okay. So far, it's been a pretty good opening. We want to get a big lead because SP Little Knight QCR could probably beat like every card. So, 
Another QCR. Okay, Baron de Fleur. I don't know if that's still a dollar. It's still a nice card. We have the Spellbook of Judgment. Probably not the QCR you want, though. Uh, evenly matched. That's also a good card. So just a ton of nice cards in rarity. I'm interested to see how Rarity Collection 2 will do in terms of just like every card being a banger nearly. Uh, I know some people were a little bit uh, upset with some of the not upset, but they were like speculating that it's not going to be as good in terms of reprints. It's going to be hard to match, you know, because when you take 81, this is kind of what I said in my video, uh, Rocket Coder. I don't know if Rocket Coder is still money, but it wasn't the original release. It's hard to have good reprints after you've already reprinted 81 good cards. And once it's 162 after this, it's going to be even harder, you know, to find the good reprints. So that's that was kind of my point. And hopefully they are able to because I want it to be a banger. We have Earthbound Prisoner because uh, I'm excited to collect it either way because we're going to be collecting the full set like we did last time. But I would rather it be really awesome, you know, <laughs> even though honestly, they do have some nice boomer bait for us, like Mystic Swordsman for people like Rhyme Style. We have Ice Dragon Prison, Abyss Dragon, Chaos Space. So all that's going to be super fun to put together. Nice rarities of those. I am excited to see that and see what I I'm happy that they're putting a few boomer cards in there. You know, I'm a boomer. I, I like the old school cards. We have Earth Earthbound. Just put like 50 awesome meta cards and then put uh, about 30, you know, 30 ish for us boomers. All right. Monsters Revenge. So far, it's been it was great right off the bat. So far, I'm just going to go right to the middle here. We have Junk Archer because this is just Monsters Revenge. You know, if we pull IP, I want to be excited either way. You know, we've already pulled two QCRs out of here. No ultis, no prismatic ultimate rares either. Rhoda, Dark Ruler no more. Harpy's Featherstorm. Okay, all good cards, but not the cards we're looking for. Maze of Millennia, can you give us a bonfire? Can you give us a tune rollback? Or not, I always say tune rollback. Uh, transaction rollback. There is a tune rollback card as well. Uh, more of an old school card, Mirage. It's not old, but you know, it's tunes. Earthbound Prison, so feels old, even though it's not that old. Rarity, rarity. Can you give us some rare luck? Reasoning. We have Iris Sword Soul. Wing Dragon Ross here, but man, we're having a lot of duds in a row with Rarity Collection. We're not pulling ulties, we're not pulling collector rares. Kind of weird, or platinum for that matter. Just the QCR so far. We have Sage, we have Super Poly. Okay, number 72, Shogi Rook, the Shogi Rook. I'm gonna play some Shogi. All right, let's go. Come on, Maze. Come on, Maze. We got Donut, we got Code. Earthbound Prisoner, I'm pretty sure they double stamped these rares. I'm like 90% sure. Ring Announcer, oh, we got something. Ah, wrong spell card. Drastic draw. Another one that I've pulled many, many times. I thought maybe we got the Fire of Bon, which is the card that everybody wants. We have Artemis. Oh, another QCR. What's going on with this? Three QCRs already and nothing else. Oh, there we go. Nadir Servant. Look at that. All right. That's a pack. Check that out. Who's excited for Rarity Collection 2? Six luxury rare packs. I am excited about that. The only thing I'm not excited about is how much these Rarity Collection cases cost. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but the Rarity Collection cases are not cheap. I, I probably should make a video talking about that. They're crazy expensive. They're like way higher than the uh, than normal cases cost. So, I mean, there's like a different ratio and everything and di a different amount of packs. It's kind of weird, but... Okay, Draco Berserker. It's st it's still expensive, though. That's all I got to say if you're going to buy a case. Maze of Millennium. Box prices are going to be higher. It's going to be weird. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. Alter, guys, we have Magic Spectre Toad, Ogama. We have Ruxin Special. Right to the Salamandra. Joey Wheel. Joey Wheel. We have Sage. We have Elich. Ghost Trick Angel. Change of Heart. And Downer and Magician. So far, it's only been QCR. Well, no, we got we did get the Collector Rare uh, Nadir Servant. So that's that's it. Very strange because those are supposed to be a lot easier than QCRs. And we keep pulling those. I'd be okay if we pulled like 12 QCRs. That'd be cool. Form Pal. How about a QCR IP? Water Enchantress. Very nice. Good stuff so far. I think we've pulled okay. Our, our value is going to be pretty decent. I mean, it's not bad at all. If we get like a bonfire or something, that would help. We have Chimera. We have Jet Synchron. Rux and Special. Right to it. Can't help it, guys. I just can't help it. I just got a Rux and Special every single time we open something. Uh, Stick with this. We've got Magician Salvation. Called by... Oh, a Mass Hero Dark Law. Prismatic Ultimate Rare. That is a beautiful looking card. Looking good. Now, let's see if Monstrous Revenge, which is basically the... You know, this one is like... He, really hit or miss and we have not hit at all out of this we have ghost wyvern flame wing man infernal rage that could be like a dollar that might not be bad we'll have to find out later in terms of you guys have already seen it i have not uh let's see if maze of millennia can really turn this around and give us something big ogama swords dance we have totem we have a geo not yet they are not turning it around not yet oh come on it's not one to rip we have the compulse 
Tico Talker Heat Soul. Whoa, Rocks and Spats are right past the Red Eyes Flare Metal, which is not a great card in terms of value, but hey, it's a really cool looking card. I'll say that. Has a regular ulti, has a prismatic ult, ultimate rare, you know, has all of them. Has ghost rare. Very cool card. Okay, Monstrous Revenge. Hello. Would you like to wake up and pull us something good? Maybe a Zeus secret rare at least. We have Sprite Smashers. Tri Edge Master. Okay, that is not a Zeus at all. We have a Maze of Millennia. You've also been slacking. Rarity Collection is hard carrying right now, which I know it's shocking. Rarity Collection, best set here. Uh, Code Hack, we have Alert. Combat Wheel, gotta be careful. We have the Supreme King. And then the Magic Specter Raccoon. Back to Rarity Collection. Will the Raccoon make a reappearance? We have Egyptian God Slime, Pot of Prosperity. Good card. Secret Rare, we'll take that. And then some other nice cards that are not as nice as Pot of Prosperity Secret Rare. We'll take it. All right, we're going straight through. We have, oh, that, that's way too straight through. We went right to it with the Ruxus special. Nothing there. Let's try Monster's Revenge. I believe in you, Monster's Revenge. You can do something. Dark Armed, Telenite Tolmaeus. Okay. Okay, not that great. Rarity, number 100, Tri Brigade Revolt. Summon limits. Oh, oh, and Wing Dragon are raw. Okay. Battles of Legend. Monstrous Revenge makes its appearance once again with the QCR. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the Dark Magician, the Knight, the Knight of Dragon Mat. I can't say it. But this is a card I looked for for a long time and we never pulled it. So maybe I should revisit and open more packs of that. Just do a separate video, like trying to get that thing because I literally tried for that for forever and we never got it. We have Doppel Warrior, Combat Wheel. And Kypterra, very nice. Oh, Rarity Collection, Rarity Collection. You got to do something for us right here, Rarity. We have the Dimension Shifter. Okay, okay, Platinum Rare, we'll take that. And Ghost Bell, good stuff. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the Dark Magician QCR, the Knight of Dragon Magic right here. We have Divine Arsenal Zeus, there we go. All right, we got a good card. We'll take that. Divine Arsenal Zeus, we're making a run now. Here, here we go, we just had to switch styles of opening to bless us a little bit. Here we go, we're going straight to it, we're going Oh, oh, we got something. Oh, it looks like an Xyz number one, Infection, Buzz King. All right, another nice pull. Not incredible, because it's just an Ultra, but still really good. I'm feeling better about this. Overall, it's been a decent opening. Ever since the effect video, though, it's been a little slow, but overall, I think it's pretty good. Here we go. Here we go. A Lich, Pot of Desires, Pot of Extravagance. Well, it's a pretty good pack. A lot of pots in there. Very nice. Come on, Maze. Give us something big. Give us a collector rare. No, nope, that's not either of them. Nothing there. Burfamet. I summon Burfamet in attack mode. I really need to rewatch. Okay, Effect Veil are evenly matched and Pot of Desires. What a pack. Really need to rewatch the original anime. I've been wanting to recently. I just haven't done it. Probably need to start doing that. It's just going to be really epic because it's the original anime. It's so good. Okay, Maze. Come on. Give us that Flame Swordsman card or something. That'd be pretty cool. We have the Earthbound. That was the wrong stack. That's okay. We have Rarity Collection to turn us around right here, right now. We have a, oh, oh, back-to-back -back ultis, Downer and Ghost Bell. There we go. Ghost Bell's really good. That's a nice pull. Nothing gets too expensive in these ultis or collector rares. Like, usually, like, 20 bucks is the max. So, I'm guessing that's, like, a $10 card, something like that. But $10 is $10 when it comes to the score. And that's what we care about is winning the battle versus tomorrow. Make sure you come check out tomorrow's video and see if we can make a comeback. Because this is going to be hard to do. We probably have at least $100 in value so far. Um, everything has contributed, really. I mean, we got the Zeus out of, out of the Monster's Revenge. The Maze has probably been the worst. Well, maybe not, just because of... The three ultras are probably worth a little bit. There's an ultimate flame swordsman, really cool. So I'm interested to see. I mean, I know rarity collection. It'll, we should probably split them out. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, if we split them out between so that you can see what each pack is contributing to the total score in the battle. And that way we can see like the slacker of the bunch. We can see the good one of the bunch, you know, Book of Eclipse, which I think right now is rarity collection. Uh, I, it's kind of a close between Maze and Monster's Revenge, though. I don't know which one's going to be the slacker. The Slifer Slacker. That was that was probably not how to say that. What was that? Maybe that was more of a Crowler voice. Pot of Prosperity, that's a good card. So that's... Rarity Collection's adding up for sure. It's looking good. We have uh, Monstrous Revenge. And then we can do that tomorrow too. And then we can do a total score of all six sets. See which one was the worst. That'll be kind of fun. Arm Neos, I think that might be okay. That was originally... It's hard to really know with Battles of Legend. A lot of stuff goes down after the original re release with that. If it's not like high rarity. Turbulence, that card went... Not too great. Still got a few packs left. I believe we can do this. We have the, oh, Predaplant Dragostapelia, evenly matched Ultra, not bad. Dragostapelia is probably not gonna be money or anything, but still cool ulti, we'll take it. We have the, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Uh oh, ah, harmonic synchro fusion. Okay, so that this is not the bonfire box. Not the bonfire box, that's for sure. Unless it's in one of the last packs. Who knows? Who knows? We have another fairy tale Luna. Let's go. Okay, fairy tale Luna. Collector rare, beautiful, looking good. I don't think that's a crazy one either, but hey, we'll take it. Rarity Collection's kind of done its part. Monsters Revenge, if you can get a QCR, even if it's the x Tox Hydra, it would be pretty decent. We have Courageous. And the maze will pull nothing that time. Perfumet. Okay, I'm going to go back to back maze to try to switch it up on us. Give us something good. Rescue Ace Hydrant. That did not work. That did not work at all. Oh, there's like a bunch of Battles of Legend. I might have skipped them a couple times. That's definitely possible. We have the Junk Archer. Good stuff. Junk Archer. Let's try another Battles of Legend. Monstrous Revenge. This has been a fun opening. If you guys are enjoyed this style where we're kind of doing a little battle between the two days, let me know and we can uh, do this again in the future. Maybe with some, who knows, older sets we could try because we're doing newer sets right now, but they are banger newer sets. Striker Dragon. All right. Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon. Not that crazy, but it's a card. Okay. Monster's Revenge. We're down to only like seven packs left. Golden Rule. The Golden Rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Maze of Millennia. I would, you know what I would like to do? I would like for, to allow myself, you know, I would really want someone else to pull a bonfire. And so I would like to do that to myself as well. Pull a bonfire, you know, then everyone's happy. They get a bonfire. I get a bonfire. Who would be mad about that? Nobody. It'd be fantastic. How about we do that? We have a Assault Synchron. That used to be a good one as well. I don't know if it still is. One pack left of each. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out tomorrow's video to see if they can come back from what the total score is going to be. Right now, it's, I'm guessing, over 100 bucks that we've pulled. We've pulled pretty well. We have a... Okay, our Air Cannon Force 15. So they did not show out uh, with Maze. Not didn't exactly ball out or anything. So hopefully that'll do better. Let's try Monster's Revenge. IP Mascarena right here would be epic. Let's see. We have... It wasn't a QCR, but hey, I asked for IP Mascarena. We got one. And oh yeah, we're going to be able to get the alternate art soon in QCR and Rarity Collection too. All right, last pack magic, rarity collection. Let's see what we can add to our total. We've already pulled three QCRs. I don't know if we're going to get a fourth. I think that would be some sort of error or something. So really, we're hoping for collector rare or ultimate rare or platinum rare. There's an Abiru. Herald of the Arc Light. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys have enjoyed it. Harpies and Nibiru. Okay, so uh, I think we did pretty good. We didn't do as well as the first video where we went crazy on this, but we did pretty good. I think tomorrow could definitely win, though, if they pull some amazing cards. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dien, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.